Lidskoprávní organizace práva a svobody občanů Turkmenistánu zapsaný spolek. Thank you, Mr. President. RFCC acknowledges the success of the working group in ensuring immediate and unconditional release of those who are arbitrarily detained. We would like to bring attention of the Council to the deteriorating trends of enforced extradition of Turkmen citizens from the territory of Turkey that consequently lead to arbitrary detention. The most scandalous case is a young blogger named Farhat Maimangulif, who knows for creating videos critical of the country leadership, including the president and his family who faced extradition to Ashgabat following with severe and brutal torture. He is reportedly sentenced to 18 years in prison and overdone the pay, and his health state is of particular concern. Additionally, we would like to bring and highlight increased numbers of arbitrary detention in Azerbaijan, where the number of politically motivated artists exceeded 200 people, with 145 peaceful believers, seven journalists, two human rights defenders, one uh, environmental rights defenders and seven members of oppositional parties among them. Azerbaijan government consequently used the trumped up criminal cases to silence critical voices. Some of the government critics, such as journalist Avad Zineli and human rights defender Bakhtiar Havjiev, faced multiple arbitrary detention on the basic on revolving door system. Thus, we are calling the Working Group and Human Rights Council to closely monitor aggravating tendency of the arbitrary detention in Turkmenistan and Azerbaijan that testifies the government complete disregard to international human rights laws and standards. Thank you. Thank you.